Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking about The Promised Neverland, Episode 8. Uh, I don't know what the numbers are. Uh, sorry, that's what, whatever the title is. Um, anyways, we're continuing. This is, the, the show keeps getting better and better, and I don't know if there's going to be an end point for that. But, uh, yeah, this episode is crazy. So, we last left off with Isabella, or Mom, uh, basically handing a note to Crone, and it seemed like she was getting ready to leave. And so we learn in this episode that the letter is basically saying, Hey, Crone, you're going to be a mom. You're going to go to a different plant, a different uh, house, and you're going to be a mom over there. And you're going to leave this house and leave everything to Isabella. And that's going to be cool. And it's clear right from the get-go that, like, something's up here. Isabella seemed pretty uh, off-put by the idea that, crone would be a mom to begin with but now she's totally cool with it and suddenly hq was sending her a note saying this of course there's something behind this so crone basically is shaken in her boots almost literally and she kind of accepts it just to see what's going on before she leaves she leaves a little box wrapped up inside of uh i assume norman or ray's uh table next to their bed so I'm pretty sure that she's left them some kind of clue as to how to get out. Anyway, so she goes to the gate and she meets up with Grandma, which is this old lady, and we don't really get a good, uh, we don't really get a good uh, picture of her face. But she's this older lady that seems to be the essentially the ringleader. She might not be the highest end of this, but she's definitely in charge of the moms at this point. And so. Crone hands her the note about how the kids are planning an escape, and she's basically trying one last push to make sure that she is in good standing with Grandmother. Turns out, that's not really gonna work. It's not gonna fly. So it seems like Grandma and Isabella are actually working together in some capacity. There is something about Isabella's uh, farm that is special. Something about the kids that she currently at least has uh, really, really is, is setting a tone for how everything is going. Like, it seems almost like her farm is putting out good, uh, specimens or food or whatever you want to call it. And, and she's one of the leading people or, uh, moms out there that is like, oh, well, she's, she's the example to be led by. So Sister Crone immediately starts, like, freaking out. Obviously, there's something wrong, and a couple of the monsters show up, and one is clearly going to eat her, or, like, at least kill her in some capacity. And honestly, before before all of, it, all of this action kind of goes down, it's kind of implied slash revealed that this is not the first time that kids have figured out uh, that there's something going on. And it, I... I we get a kind of a flashback and I'm not sure whether it's supposed to be the grandmother when she was a mom or whether it's just a flashback in general, but it's like kind of a hazy thing. And it's implied that like, it's almost okay if some kids learn about this, as long as the mom in charge takes control of the situation. It's almost okay if the mom basically forces them down and like forces them to either one believe that, they're in a good place or whatever or like even if they know about all the stuff that they kind of just quiet and go with the groove and whatever so it's it, there's a lot of a uh, uh, servitude kind of stuff going on here and there's even a shot of a flashback with uh a mom which i i'm assuming is grandmother when she was a mom uh and basically saying hey come back whatever she she motions to a girl and that's that's basically Sister Crone being like, something's t awful. Like, there was never a chance that Crone was going to get out of this situation uh, once she started plotting. Uh, Isabella and Grandma were plotting this entire time, working together. And honestly, we get some real humanity out of this episode. In the first half of this episode, you get some, I almost feel bad for Crone. We, we learn a lot more about the process of these girls that become moms. So first of all, we knew that they had to meet two requirements. One was that they had to do very well in their testing and all of the aspects that they were uh, shown in the farms or whatever. And then the second was a recommendation. After that, they get brought to the gate and then shipped off to a facility of some kind. And 
they're they're trained and they're they basically go to another school uh where they have to be taught like macrame and whatever all kinds of stuff um and then they're even taught like some kind of martial art and it seems like it's not just a school but also like an actual facility because there's Unless I missed it entirely, it seemed like there was a grown man in a lab coat walking off, and that's where, like, Sister Crone got this pen that she was carrying around the entire episode. It seems like there's a lot more, uh, maybe science-y stuff going on behind the scenes than, uh, than just, oh, here's some monsters that happen to have control of the world, or whatever. Anyways, so as Sister Crone is basically living out her last couple of minutes uh, alive, she's thinking about how the kids need to get out, and this is why I think that maybe she left them something behind to help them escape, because I feel like even though she's kind of always kind of given off a, a weird vibe, I feel like in her heart of hearts she's actually uh, been very caring for the kids. And maybe, whether it was revealed or not, uh, I don't think it was maybe she wanted a farm of her own so that she could theoretically take care of kids and actually may maybe make it so that they could they could escape or something I, I i don't know but maybe there was some kind of sympathy that she had for the kids and that's why she wanted to become a mom and it wasn't the the selfish oh you live in a lap of luxury food every day and safety as long as you don't leave the farm whatever I think there was a little bit more sympathy and empathy in her actions than they, they even showed. So basically, she gets killed. She gets picked up by the monster. So this is the interesting thing. When Connie was killed at the beginning of the series, uh, they she had a little red flower thing coming out of her. And I assumed that this was a something that they did after they killed her. Maybe they killed her and then they stuck the flower in her to prove that, like, oh, she's one of the specimens to send off. Um... But instead, this flower actually sucks out the life of Crone. Uh, the monster basically just pokes her in the chest with it, and it blooms with red blood, I assume. Uh, so there's something up with the flowers themselves that I think they'll ha the kids will have to be really careful about in the future. So that's a whole thing. Isabella's working with Grandma, so we know that she can't really get in trouble for what she's doing on her farm. As long as the kids keep pumping out, uh, she's fine. So that's trouble for the kids, ultimately, because unless they do something that really rocks the boat, Isabella won't get in trouble. And that brings us to the second part of the episode, and it's basically their investigation of what may be on the other side of the wall, and, uh, and, uh, Emma and Norman are the main parts of that, because they're gonna be the ones that go over the wall and see what goes on. Now, things don't go very well for them at all. Things basically just spiral out of control all the way up until the end of the episode and this was probably the most exciting part of the episode for me because i think it was the most tense part of the episode despite all the stuff that happened with crone i feel like this was the more uh, intense and crazy part of the episode so while norman and emma are trying to get over the wall ray was sent to basically distract isabella and and make sure that she doesn't get anywhere near them or check her uh, a tracker thing and just to, just to keep her in order and i i i'm i'm really bad at this but they were talking about chemicals and i don't know whether that was something that was brought up earlier in another episode or maybe it was something that whatever but i feel like it's something that maybe maybe mom has some kind of uh medical Thing that Ray was helping her with because I feel like she at some point said that it, the chemicals weren't going to work on her now and that he's out of luck. I, I, I feel like I missed something at that point and I, I wanted to go back to it but I, I didn't get a chance. It certainly was something that you probably could miss because they kept moving and moving and moving on from that. So thing big things that we learned from that encounter though with Ray and Isabella is that Ray now knows that Crone is gone. She, he, I don't think he exactly knows the details, but she was let go or fired or whatever, and clearly that's not a good thing. Um, and then essentially he was locked in her room when he he objected to uh, his own firing. It seems like Isabella has enough confidence in her own abilities and having uh, Grandma backing her up from the uh, HQ that she doesn't need Ray anymore to keep an eye on the kids. She's just going to 
do it herself. She's going to lay all her cards on the table and see what happens and just stranglehold this situation. So he's not good. He gets locked in a room and is eventually saved by Don. But that's that's not even the craziest part of this episode. Isabella tracks down Norman and Emma just as they're about to get ready to climb the wall. At first, like, they try to, like, pass it off as, like, oh, hey, mama, what's up? Uh, is there something wrong or whatever? And she basically just, like, like I said, she puts all the cards on the table. She says, you don't, it's just us. You don't have to pretend like you don't know anything. Let's just talk it out. Let's just be straight. Something, you know what's going on. Uh... Let's just be out here in the open with this. And she basically says that they can't go anywhere because they're important. They're very important. They are there. Like, I feel like there is a very specific thing. Like, they haven't exactly said why the kids at Isabella's farm are so important. But I get the feeling that maybe she's just just got really great, like, specimens of some sort. And that's why her her situation is so important. And the kids are so important, too. So she basically says, hey, you're not going anywhere. I'm not going to allow it. You're staying here. Just just stick with me. You won't get in any trouble as long as you keep your heads down. And, and <laughs> that's not exactly cool. Uh, Emma doesn't fly with that. But she says, well, that's not real freedom. That's just a lie. And eventually, uh, even if I do die eventually... Uh, I don't want to die in the hands of those monsters. I would rather live a painful life on the other side of this wall and decide what happiness means to me. And to which, I gotta say, rock on, Emma. Emma, I love Emma. She is so uh, funny and straightforward, and she's just great. I love her. She is, she is probably one of my favorite characters of any kind of anime. They then try to make a break for it, with Norman going for the bag of stuff that they had to climb the wall, and Emma holding down Mom and trying to get her tracker. Mom is just basically, like, kind of smirking her way through this. She's not worried at all about this, especially a couple of kids that they she could just bat away. I get the feeling that she is super, super strong. All, all, all the backflashes from Crone's situation, where she was learning some kind of martial art in that facility, I bet I bet Isabella learned all that too. And I bet she was really good at what she did. So just as Norman's getting the bag of stuff and is getting ready to do whatever, you hear this awful snap noise. And it, it cuts straight to, I'm pretty sure Emma screaming, and Mom Isabella freaking broke her leg she broke her freaking leg and this is like ray and gilda and don just showing up like they were running after isabella to try to warn uh norman and emma and everybody's just shocked and meanwhile isabella's got this like nice like oh i'll take care of you don't worry about it smile on her face and she's saying oh it doesn't hurt it's okay ah uh. <laughs> Isabella is a psychopath. Isabella is like, I don't know what the rest of the moms are from the other uh, farms. And they, they all probably have some kind of uh, uh, facade where they're all like nice and happy. But Isabella is a psychopath because it seems like she's got an agenda that is beyond just, oh, I'm going to keep doing my job. Uh, maybe she's jockeying for the grandma uh, position later on when she gets older. I don't know, but she's got something cooking up, and she's a nutcase. Something is wrong with her beyond the situation that is unfolding anyways. And she just broke an 11-year-old, I think 11-year-old girl's uh, uh, leg and didn't even bat an eye at it. It was a really messed up scene. And meanwhile, ever like Norman, Ray, Gilda, and Don are just like frozen solid. They are surprised that everything's happening. And she basically is just like, see, it's you don't you don't want to uh, try to escape because this is it's not going to end well for you. Oh, and by the way, Norman, HQ called. Your date is next. You're you're going to be shipped out next. Norman's got a date. Ray's got a date now. This is nuts. <laughs> And the weird, the craziest part about all this is that, like, since Emma has a broken leg, she's not going to be shipped out. So because they want to send out healthy and uh, happy, relatively, uh, kids to these monsters. So she, she basically, Isabella basically says, 
your your tomorrow is safe. Don't worry, you're good to go. Uh, meanwhile, Norman's scared to hell because he's got a date set for his shipment. And I'm wondering, so Ray's date was set for like January sometime. I'm wondering if Norman is set a little bit earlier or something because it seemed like we were missing like a month or so of shipments, even if they were going to skip a month. Uh, something's going to go down. Something is going to force them to figure out how to get out before Norman's uh, shipment or Ray's shipment. And now they're in big trouble because Emma's leg is freaking broken. She broke her leg. My mind is blown with this. The last scene of the uh, episode is mom carrying back Emma and all the kids are worried, obviously, but something seems weird. It, it kind of ends on like a slight cliffhanger because it seems like some of the kids re were realizing something. And I don't know whether it's just like, oh, well, they're kind of all shocked that her leg is broken or whether there's something off about the next episode. Uh, either way... It was a weird episode. It it kind of like I I have I had a weird moment at the beginning of the episode where I was thinking I don't know if this is the most like crazy episode or what. I'm just kind of living it. Uh, it's fine. And then I started feeling bad for Sister Crone, but even then I wasn't totally like super invested in the episode. And then Mom reveals that she's firing. Ray as her uh, spy and locks him in the room and then she goes after Emma and Norman and then she breaks Emma's leg. It escalated very, very quickly. Very quickly. And that is super crazy to me. I, I'm, I'm eight episodes into this show and I'm blown away entirely. Still, yeah, no. Overall, this episode was great. I enjoyed this so much. I'm super excited to see what happens in the next episode. Clearly, they're going to have to do something. They're going to have to rework their plan or whatever. But <laughs> I couldn't tell you what's going to go down. Uh, yeah, that's all I got to say about this uh, episode. Let me know what you guys think about this episode down below in the comments section. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you want to see more from me, remember to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so that you get all the notifications whenever I post a video. I will see you guys in another video. Bye.